Hey sweet friends, today we are talking all about the Dollar Tree crates, especially these with the new design. I love them, so I am trying to put them together in some fun, unique ways to make some gorgeous pieces on a budget. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and let's go ahead and jump right into it. For this first project, I'm using six crates. You can see that one of them doesn't match, but I'm going to throw it in the back so you're not even going to be able to tell. But I start by gluing uh, two of these together at a time, trying to make sure they're aligned as perfect as possible because I want this box to be really nice and straight. And then after I get them attached, I attach the two pieces together. So just take it step by step. I am actually using this new stain that I've been loving. It's called Western Oak by Verathane, and it seems to be working very well just now getting to put it to good use, but I love the color of it. It doesn't have any orange undertones, and it's like a lighter brown color, which I really love. I do take some of these wooden planks and glue them in the middle because I needed like a platform to set my candle holders on, and then this gives me the space to kind of stuff the edges with some Spanish moss. I didn't want to put it in there yet and have the Spanish moss poking out of those holes in the front, so I did cut a little bit of faux leather and just kind of glue that in place so that it has a nice background. I think it's funny, you know it's becoming springtime whenever you start breaking out the Spanish moss and using it on all of your projects. Super fun and nostalgic just to use like moss and succulents and things like that. I just love springtime crafts. So I go ahead and glue down my candle holders. I had these with the taller one in the center and then the two shorter ones on the edges. And then this little garland actually come from Hobby Lobby originally. It was $15.99, but I didn't purchase it from there. I actually picked it up at a garage sale it had 50 cents on it and if I see something like this out I grab whatever I see because I know I can always put this to good use later on and that saves you a ton of money even getting this half off like seven dollars just to put in a project automatically like makes your project like not worth DIYing it you should just purchase it but I know large centerpieces like this at Kirkland's can be up to like 70 bucks but I thought this was a gorgeous piece some LED candles in there and ready to decorate with this for spring As many DIYs and crafts that I've used, I've never done this exact project and I thought it was a really cool idea. So for this one, I'm using two of the little crates with the arch design on the front or rainbow design. They have a couple of different styles of these and I think they're really cute. But for this, I just put a line of hot glue and putting in some of these smaller beads. And this is just going to act as a little divider in between the two crates. I'm actually going to leave this one upside down and then apply some hot glue to the back side of the bead because I do not want this kind of oozing out of the top. I hate whenever you see messy hot glue coming out. But I thought this was such a cool effect. I loved it. I've done this with like in, like the wood beads in between two planks of wood so it looked like a little riser or something. But I thought it was really fun in between the crates. I love this London Gray Color by Rust-Oleum. So I go ahead and give that two coats of the spray paint and then just fill this up with some greenery. And just for a couple of bucks it turned into a really cute planter. Next up, we are using eight crates to create this project. Now, all of them don't have to be the same, but you do want the ones that's going to be on the outside front to be the same. I just want to remind you of that because I ran out of these little chevron or zigzag pattern ones. So I did have to sneak in a couple of rainbow or arch ones in the backing. But for this one, I am attaching them at the smaller ends and then st stacking the two sets in the front. So this creates like a huge box. It's going to look like a large planter box, but you're only going to have like a shallow piece of the top which actually works perfect works for our benefit we don't have to fill it up with a ton of filler to get our plants at the top so this actually works better than having like a deep planter box I do take the time to go ahead and use some wood filler just to fill in the cracks and make this look more like one large piece
I did want to try to be really careful and not fill in the little chevron pieces or little lines because I don't want my wood filler to make that look bad. But at the end, you can just take like a needle or a sharp tool that you can easily just kind of scrape it out of there. Very easy to do. I go ahead and let that completely dry. It really lightens up and you can tell whenever it's dry. I sand it down really smooth and then do a layer of this mineral color chalk paint by Waverly. It's one of my favorite colors. I go ahead and paint the entire outfit side and then just about an inch down in case anything shows the top. You could skip this step if you don't want to mess with handles, but I don't mind taking a couple of extra minutes to drill some holes. That way I can give it some really fun handles and just adds that much more detail. I do feel like the sides, you're going to be able to tell, um, unless you get them 100% perfect, but you're going to be able to tell that you like put the wood filler in there and sanded them down and painted over it. It's going to be a little bit of a rough surface area, so I do like to take the extra time and just add some extra details on the edging, and you're really not going to pay attention to what's underneath. I do take a piece of styrofoam and divide it into fourths, and then just glue that down on the top, and this is just going to help me fill it up so I don't have to add in so much filler. And now is the really fun part where you can just get out all the greenery that you have. I have lots of these hanging succulents. I picked them up on sale last year. I think Hobby Lobby put them out very inexpensive too, as well as Walmart has these. And then I put those down first, a couple of different styles, and then just started filling this in with all the succulents that I had, even some lighter ones. You could use the colorful ones, but I just loved keeping, keeping it mostly green. But a really fun piece. It's going to add so much greenery in there. This would be perfect for any one into like boho style or that loves like faux plants but a really cute fun project Next up, we are using a crate for a fun Easter project. So all you need is one of these stakes from the Dollar Tree that has this cute little bunny with the little hands over the sign. If you can't find this, you just need a bunny head. You can easily DIY your own little hands, but I wanted to attach the crate to look like he was holding it. So the first thing I do is kind of cut the sign down because I need this little blank space to glue the crate to. And then I did take a second to go ahead and paint this pink just so it wasn't like raw wood colored. He had a little hole at the top of his head so I go ahead and fill that in and I like to cover this with a bow so I thought that was really cute. I love the colors of this, the face already so gonna leave that as is and then that little bit of the sign just works perfect to attach the crate to so I did leave that. If you don't have it you could just easily glue the bunny head to the top and use some popsicle sticks for extra support. I just filled this up with some of these fake eggs but you easily could put candy, make this little candy serving dish but really fun like pop of color for Easter. And of course, the old trusty crates that Dollar Tree puts out, the ones with the little holes in between it, I easily just glued two of these together, stained them with some of my favorite Rust-Oleum stain. This was in Flagstone, but I've been trying to test out some different stains, especially while bu building the new house. We're going to need stain for our staircase railing, as well as um, like my pantry door. I wanted it to be wood. So let me know in the comments down below, like the perfect stain color you can see by the last two projects like kind of what I'm going for. I love like a gray undertone, light, like medium wood color. So let me know if you have any favorite stain colors. I'd love to know. But back to this project, I am using a jumbo popsicle stick. I painted it white and cut the rounded tips off and then using some of these galvanized letters, I spilled out flowers to attach this to the front so then I can fill it in. I 
I love mixing different florals together. I think that's what gives you like a higher end look or if you purchase something, it's gonna be mixed in with tons of different flowers and greenery. So I had these really pale teensy little roses that I added in there as well as some of these spring flowers. I love these these flowers from Dollar Tree. They're called wildflowers, but they already have a little bit of greenery on them. So you're gonna save money, not by having to add in so much like more greenery costing another $1.25. But I thought this really turned out cute adds a perfect pop of color but also something you can leave out for the entire season thank you guys so much for checking out today's video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed and i'll see you in the next one happy crafting bye